Hi, welcome to section six. In previous lesson, we have understood what is QDS. Let's go ahead and understand more about QDS. With ClickView Publisher license, QDS will handle the reload engine and there is no more dependency on ClickView server or the QVS service for task reloads. This means QVS can be used to render charts or objects for end users instead of reloading or refreshing the data. If you have a clustered environment, then it is highly recommended to install QDS on a separate node. This way, full machine power, that is CPU and RAM, can be used for reloading the data. ClickView Publisher license adds significant functionality to the standard reload capability of ClickView Server. If you think about from the folder structure perspective, when you have QDS, you will be able to store the apps into the source document. So remember, without publisher, developer will directly save it in the user documents folder. And with publisher, developer will save the QEW files into the source documents. Once these files are stored in source document, QDS will pick up these files and reload the data and it will push to the user documents. So let's look at some of the advantages with ClickView Publisher. ClickView Publisher includes functionality to handle field level security and access control from central administration software like Active Directory. ClickView Publisher is also needed to support complex distribution models for ClickView documents. And think about in a clustered environment, ClickView Publisher allows an additional node or the server for reload distribution or security management in a multi-node deployment. Basically, there are two types of authorizations. First one is the dynamic data reduction, which determines if the user is allowed to view the data when the user tries to access it. We will look more deeply into that. And the next one is the static data reduction. And this is performed by ClickView Publisher, which determines if the user is allowed to view the data when the data is prepared for the user. In fact, both static and dynamic data reduction of data can be implemented individually, but they can also be combined to deliver robust data level authorization. Data reduction is a security mechanism that allows application data to be purged from a ClickView application in accordance with role level security settings. ClickView Publisher can automate data reduction independently. Publisher performs the data reduction using the loop and reduce functionality in ClickView. The publisher data reduction should not be confused with the dynamic data reduction associated with section access. Let's understand the difference between static and dynamic data reductions. So in a static data reduction, which uses loop and reduce, where publisher reduces data and creates new QEW file with the subset of data. Let us take a fictitious example with Amazon sales data. If Amazon corporate user wanted to view the sales data, then they would view overall sales data. But head of Amazon UK or head of Amazon Australia wanted to view the overall sales data for their respective regions, that is UK and Australia. This is a classic case for loop and reduce. In this case, we will have one QEW file in source documents, which will be distributed as three QEW files in user documents. So what it really means is there are three QEW files right now. The first one will show overall Amazon sales data, that is for the corporate department, where there is data for UK and Australia, in fact, all the other regions as well. And the second QEW file has only Amazon UK sales data, which is accessed by Amazon UK employees. So they don't have access to the other region's data. Their full set of data is only Amazon UK sales. And the third one is the Amazon Australia sales data for Amazon Australian employees. So with this technique, both employees of Amazon UK and Australia can't view any other data apart from data for their respective regions. In fact, these QVW files will not even contain data for other regions. Think as if publisher is manually filtering 
to these regions and reducing the data before saving and distributing as QEW files. That makes sense, right? So that is how the static data reduction works. So now let's continue and take the same example and let's see how we can use the dynamic data reduction. So with dynamic data reduction, which uses section access, data is reduced without creating a new QVW file. Based on our example, with the static data reduction, we've created three QVW files, which are distributed and published on user documents. But with the dynamic data reduction, there is only one QVW file. This time, if Amazon users wanted to see the data based on their org hierarchy, like sales managers wanted to see their own data, in this case, there is no point in splitting one app into hundred or potentially thousands of them because you might have hundreds and hundreds of sales managers or employees. Instead, we can write section access script, which dramatically reduce the data based on who is accessing the data. This almost happens in real time when user tries to access the application. So I hope that makes sense. Just to summarize what we have discussed, when you think about dynamic data reduction, think about section access. And when you think about static data reduction, think about loop and reduce using ClickView Publisher. So let's move on and then let's look at more about loop and reduce. As part of loop and reduce process, prior to ClickView 11 server, the entire document is loaded to memory from disk and then the document is reduced and saved onto the disk. And then it goes back to step one and it loops through again and then it will reduce the document and save it back onto disk. So assuming that you have three levels of data reduction. So what happens is first time it will open the QVW file which has full set of data and then the data is reduced and it is saved onto the disk. Now it has to open the full document again to reduce on a different field value or different bookmark. So it will open the QVW file again and then it will reduce further and then save it again. So the process is repeated like three times where there is overhead of opening the document three times. But this has changed in ClickView 11 server where the entire document is loaded to memory and the document is reduced while being duplicated in memory. Then the document is reduced and saved onto the desk. So remember that there is a duplicate copy already in memory. So there is no need to load the document three times. Basically you are reducing the cost of loading the same document three times when you're performing loop and reduce. So the performance enhancement is the number of times the ClickView app is loaded from disk for each loop. However, note that memory footprint is increased because the QVW file is duplicated in memory. And the most interesting one is QVB. And it's not QVD, there is something called QVB. QVB stands for ClickView Batch Engine. So think about QVB as a lightweight ClickView reload engine that are started by QDS when application need to be reloaded. To keep it simple, think about QVB.exe as QV.exe, which is your ClickView desktop, but without any front-end or user interface. Just think as if it's the reload engine or just think about running ClickView from command line. And don't be surprised if QVB, which is the publisher reload engine, it can consume as much resources as possible to perform the reload task. If you have both server and publisher installed on same server node, then this might affect QVS because there might be a battle for the resources. To avoid this issue, you should consider moving publisher to a separate node instead. And that is the best solution long term for your environment. If you have QVS and publisher on the same machine and they use a lot of resources where long cycles of distribution or many concurrent distributions running at the same time will affect QVS, which is serving the clients. They will fight over resources and resource contention might affect the users. So thinking about a clustering environment, it is common to set up QDS and QMS on one node, which is the publisher and ClickView management console, and then QVS and QEWS on a separate node along with the directory service connector. So I hope that made sense about QDS. Thank you for watching.